welcome to another episode of In the Van with James. I am James, this is my van, and uh, we're heading out to Vancouver. You see, I just got back from sunny Florida, and uh, I tell you, the weather there is pretty fantastic up here in Vancouver. Meh, at least it's dry. Well, today, uh, because I was in Florida at the uh, wonderfully large ISA sign show, with my good friends, the American Trotec crew. Big shout out to all of them. Those guys are fantastic. Uh, especially out to uh, Brandy out in Dade's City, who's uh, uh, right now waiting to hear from all the Floridians. Uh, do we call them Floridians? Anyway, um, all of those guys uh, gonna come out to Dade's City to uh, to get yourself a Trotec demo. Unfortunately, Randy doesn't have a, a van, but uh, uh, you can definitely get hold of him and uh, get yourself a demo uh, with Randy, because Randy is uh, a pretty fantastic dude. Um, I have a special guest today from Florida, uh, because this is the Florida Vancouver Connection episode. We're going to talk to Nicole from Florida, who she has a YouTube show as well. And uh, we're gonna, you know, put some graphics down here, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> with uh, her information if you wanna get a hold of her and, and talk to her, and maybe uh, in the actual show notes as well on our YouTube channel, you can see her link to her website. And um, we're gonna meet her and talk about what she does. And you know what? She's calling right now. Hello there, this is James. Good morning, James. This is Nicole. How are you? Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm just trying to turn up my headset here. There we go. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you just fine. Oh, good. Good. Because I, I had to change ear earbuds because uh, the other ones kept falling out. So. Very nice. We're good. We're good now, right? Yes, we are. I um, I really appreciate you doing this. Thank you very much. I um, I'm looking forward to this. Thank you, James. Yeah, no, no problem. This is uh, this is this is fun. I mean, we we just started this uh, this little video cast on YouTube, and and uh, we've been doing some pretty cool stuff. So, um, and I was just in Florida uh, for my first time. Yeah, how was Florida? Excellent. It was oh the weather is unbeatable there. I mean, <laughs> last last week uh, you you know you maybe for you guys maybe had a cool cool day or two, but yes. for me it was like uh, it was like June. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was gonna say yes. you came in in like a pretty cold season, but it was. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. It was... No, I really did. I really did. It was uh, the I, I love just looking at all the all the palm trees and and just the, the sunny weather mostly i mean i just uh, i got a dose of of summer and then i came back to vancouver for i mean it's not freezing here and it's not pouring rain so you know it's not that bad but it's still it's it's cold and yeah i, I want to uh i, I want to get warmed up yeah yeah i can understand that yeah <laughs> exactly so uh nicole tell me a little bit about your yourself i i mean i only know you from a, a couple of emails that, that you sent our way uh, I'd love to hear a little bit more about what you're doing down there in Florida. Thanks, James. Um, okay, so I um, I have owned my laser, my Trotec laser, for a little over a year now. And yep. um, my business, I do a lot of tumblers. I do a lot of um, uh, engraved pencils. That's a big one for me. A lot of... Really? Uh, yeah, that they're they're uh, they're a big hit, I guess, with all the teachers and uh, realtors really like it. That's another one that um, a lot of people like to come to me for, like realtor gifts and stuff like that. And um, it's so nice having like a versatile machine, you know, that can like engrave and cut and do cutting boards or pencils or tumblers or coasters, all kinds of stuff. So that's what I do, and um, I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed learning. I didn't know anything about lasers before I got my Trotec machine. So it's been wow. a huge learning curve, but I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I remember my first day with the laser. I remember walking into the shop and the and the boss showing me, or at least he was going to be my boss. I hadn't got the job yet. I, I, saw, I saw a laser and I thought, oh my goodness, this thing is a dream come true. <laughs> so, They're I, impressive. I know that... 
<laughs> exactly. What's what's the name of, of your company? Uh, the name of my company is Sarian Oleum, which is millionaire spelled backwards. It's uh, sort of my life <laughs> motto. <laughs> so, that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's, thanks. That's I'm, great. I'm big into like <laughs> manifesting, so I try to put everything out there to like, okay, I'm going to be a millionaire. Why not like make it my business name? So. Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, why not? Why not just put it as as your business name? That you know, that's super cool. And and how do we how do we get get hold of you if we want to? Uh, uh, if we're, I mean, I'm sure you sell all over the, the country, maybe the world. Um, how do we get how do we get hold of you? Thanks. Um, so I've got a website which is www.sarianoleum.com, or um, you could uh, watch my YouTube channel, which is also Sarian Oleum, or um, Nicole N I C K O L E at Darianoleum.com. Cool. And then, um, how long have you been working with, with lasers and things like this? Okay, so I've only done lasers for the past year, and there was probably about a year before that that I've been watching the Trotech Canada videos, which has been a huge, significant <laughs> help with um, learning like all the different applications that you can do, the different materials that you can use. And you guys just make it like really fun of like showing like what you can do and how to do it. And it's been really nice like following that along. So a year myself what I've been doing, but like I've been kind of watching it in the background for like two years. Right, so a year you were sort of stewing and, and what were you doing during that year? Were you making plans for, for your business or, or were you working somewhere else or what, what, was the, what was the issue there? I actually started off doing woodworking is what I started off and um, I started off um, owning like a wood shop and I would do like little crafty items and do craft shows and I would make uh, wood benches or uh, wood home decor or all kinds of wood stuff and then um, I thought there must be an easier way <laughs> and so that's when I sort of like <laughs> looked into routers which led me to uh, CNC machines which led me to lasers and then having the laser is so much more versatile to be able to have like so much more things that I could work with, which I really like. And I was curious with you, like what got you started into lasers? Ah, uh, me. Well, you know, I was a, a, a graphic designer basically my whole life. I, I started off um, using Corel Draw with Corel Draw 2. I was a, uh, I was in art class in, in high school and my uh, art teacher, she says, so, you know, you, you'd be you'd be good with with computer art and back then we only had one computer in the in the art class it was a I don't know it was some kind of a IBM compatible thing and uh, so I started off with Corel 2 and uh, I got a job as a sort of a marketing guy in um, a, a wood mill so I was making all of their handouts and all their catalogs and things like this. Uh, I worked there for many years, and, and that's where I cut my really cut my teeth on Corel Draw and learned all by myself. I had no teacher, so it was like spending countless hours just pouring over what this thing can do. Um, then I got a job as a as a web guy, so I was sitting up in a tall building uh, in Vancouver, you know, making making weird websites <laughs> with Corel Draw, you know, all the, all the graphics. And then uh, there was the big tech boom crash in, in 2000 and they said, uh, uh, this is your last day. <laughs> so I went and looked for a job and found a job uh, with a uh, engraver supply uh, that, sold, that sold lasers. And uh, I never looked back then. I mean, I, I, spent, I spent the first six months um, screwing up product <laughs> as you can probably well well know but once once I passed that sort of I initiation phase uh, yeah I never looked back I, I wanted to know as much as I can about that so it was it was graphics that got me into lasers as opposed to lasers getting me into graphics that's really cool I like how you said too the the six month of kind of like messing things up because it really is that initiation phase where you have to play with the settings and um, the graphics and then like play with everything but like just kind of pushing through it like it, it you'll get there eventually you do you will you will get there and hey all you kids out there uh listen save up your uh, nice flat cardboard and your uh you know sheets of really junky wood because if you don't want to screw up 50 dollars material i beg you on your off time 
start screwing up on cardboard and wood. Um, this is what I tell everyone. You you spend spend an extra hour or more every day just learning how to get your settings right. That's I mean that's can can you can you jive with what I'm saying there? Yeah, that's a really good idea. I really like that. So so what kind of recommendations do you have then, James, for like somebody who's just starting off looking into lasers or maybe somebody who's just beginning with lasers? Like, um, do you have any recommendations or have you ever seen like a success story since you've been in it for so long? I've seen so many success stories. There's been way more success stories than, than failure stories. I don't like to call them failure stories, but um, you know, the, the success stories begin with somebody who really does their research on what equipment to get. Uh, that means, is it even a laser that they need? What sort of laser do, do they need? Um, they really do their research and they learn a lot from a lot of different people. There's a lot of resources out there that you can learn from. And, and I beg you, do your research first. Don't just jump on the first, the first thing you, you come across. Uh, you know, because the, I've seen people jump into it too, a little too quickly and it, it doesn't work out as well. So do a little bit of research, you know, if you're starting to think about it, maybe extend your plan an extra couple of months and, and say, okay, you know what, this is what I really want to do. And these are the people I've noticed that do the, the most business right up front. Um, the other thing that will make a success out of you is um, learn your graphics software first. Now, whether this is Adobe Illustrator, whether this is CorelDRAW, whether this is AutoCAD, you know, there's a whole menagerie of graphics programs out there for you guys to use. And I think that, you know, learning that stuff first, even getting the trial version and spending an extra 15 or 20 minutes every day for the first couple of months, even before you get your machine or as your machine is on its way to you, learn something from it. We got lots of videos here. Um, there's lots of videos online about CorelDRAW, but learning the software first keeps the stress level down because you're dealing with a, a machine that uses a laser beam to cut things. Um, that's stressful enough for a new be be beginner. And now we have uh, uh, the stress of learning something completely new. So if you already know a graphics software, you're you know 80% of the way there, right? I agree with you on that one. Yeah, for sure. Graphics is a huge part of it. Or even if... Um, Mm, you're sort of slow to learning about graphics or a little bit intimidated, there's a lot of graphics out there too that you could um, purchase for a really low price too True. that um, supports other artists too that you could like purchase their vector images or um, that's a good way to get your feet wet too. Yeah, I mean, purchasing the, the art, yeah, that's a, it's a great way to do it and then sooner or later you're going to want to edit some of that uh, for your mm -hmm. own use and that's where you're going to really make your moves on some of the uh, features of your graphic software, right? Yeah, I so like that. What, yeah, so James, why did you choose Trotec? Like what, what was your reasoning behind that? Well, I mean, I worked for a, a different laser company and uh, I would always have, I had, a, I had a customer, a really good customer who every few years would buy another laser from me. We were great friends happy to see each other um, every time I came over you know we go for lunch and things like this and, and uh, just a really great relationship and then one day I just happened to stop by um, and I noticed there was a red machine in his shop and I looked at him and I said buddy what what's going on here you didn't even you didn't even call me and he he bowed his head and he says dude just come over here and look at this thing let me just show you what it's all about and I looked at it and I went I just my mouth kind of dropped open and said oh, oh you know I'm sure glad these guys aren't in my uh, in my area uh, and then suddenly they were in my area so there was and there was no choice in it really for, for me I, I knew that I knew I, I had to I knew I had to get get a job with with them so I had no I had no choice in the matter it was it, it, it had to be it had to be Trojan that's really cool yeah I've yeah. been I've been really confident myself with my decision for my purchase um, 
I um, did a lot of research myself, and uh -huh. we were looking at different laser machines. Yep. And fortunately for me, there's um, a Trotec office really close in the Tampa Bay area, Dade City. Yes. Um, the it's called Engraving System Solutions ESS, and there is a really great group of people out there that help with like. Um, what kind of decision that you you can make, whether it's um, what kind of machine, what you're really looking for with the applications, they're always there to like help with um, any questions. They hold like really great events, like monthly or sometimes like um, like uh, every couple months to have like lessons on what to do or just get togethers with other laser users. Yeah. And I felt really comfortable with going with Trotech out at Dade City because they were really good about like explaining everything and like helping me like answer all my questions coming like from like no laser background at all. It right, was nice right. that um, I had them to kind of go to and then just Trotech in general, if I ever had any kind of like questions afterwards about um, setting up my machine. I've used like the customer service before where they log into my computer and they remote in or yes. there's a Trotech Facebook group that I'm a part of that is huge and they post all the time stuff on there like projects that we're working on or we could share ideas or questions. The Trotech Facebook group is another really great one too. Yeah, it's it's great. I, I peruse the, the Trotech Facebook uh site as, as well and you know to see if there's anyone who's having problems and, and see if I can I can help them as well um, it, and I learn a ton from it as well I mean I, I mean after after being in it for you know 18 years uh, I'm still learning like I, you never stop learning in, in this industry there's always somebody who's got something cool to do isn't there yeah, that's the really cool thing I thought too about lasers is um, it's just so versatile with whatever kind of direction you want to go. There's so many different ways that you can make one business out of just a single thing or you could be completely broad. It's, it's really versatile and I love it. Which I was curious, James, what's like one of the like funnest like projects that you've ever worked on?